Hey guys, this is TK. Um, today I'm doing a transmission swap on my 2007 Honda Accord 2.4 with a K24A8 engine that has a 5-speed standard uh, manual transmission. I'm trying to put a uh, 2012 Honda Civic transmission which is a six-speed uh, limited slip uh, transmission um, as you can see both of the transmission look exactly the same from this side this means that they'll mount perfectly uh, almost all K24 uh, transmissions will mount on any K24 engine uh, uh, this Honda Civic, this is a Honda Civic transmission, and this is the transmission that came out of my car. Um, I had plans of changing it to an RSX, uh, I'm sorry, not an RSX, uh, TX, TS, T, oh, uh, TSX, yes, TSX tr a transmission uh, from a 2009 or 2008 TSX. Um, the transmission would have been um, exactly the same, even the mounts would have been exactly the same, that's what I have learned online. But um, that transmission is not uh, an LSD, which is a limited slip transmission. It has a limited slip differential. And uh, uh, whereas this Honda Civic transmission has a uh, limited slip differential. Um, the rest, the mounts are quite different. Um, well, engine and they will it will mount on the engine exactly the same, hopefully, because that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, but uh, the upper mount is different, as you can see the holes on this one. This is the Honda, this is the Honda Civic transmission, and this is I'm sorry, this is the Honda Accord transmission, and this is the Honda Civic transmission. As you can see, the holes are not at the uh, at the same place. Only one hole. This hole matches up whereas this one has that that and uh, and yeah only two holes for the mount and this one has three holes for the mount there are two basically two studs one stud goes here one stud goes here and the mount goes on top of that and there's one bolt that goes through there but this one has only two bolts um, I don't have the mount with me because I am making a mount out of a aluminum block. I will update uh, with another video showing you how the my newer mount looks like and how the older mount is. As for now, I have this transmission out. I'm also swapping out my uh, clutch and my flywheel. Um, this is the OE clutch and I'm putting a Chromoly XCD HF02 flywheel. And uh, also I'm putting a stage two clutch. So the upper one is, that's the clutch, and this is the pressure plate, and this is the pre XCD 08806 um, stage one clutch and pressure plate. Um, uh, there are minor differences, well, um, all around the transmission there are minor differences. The, uh, the master cylinder is uh, is kind of a uh, the separate prim the secondary cylinder is at a different is, is a different spot the 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 it looks the same almost the same but but the uh, where the line goes in it's uh, it's kind of different where it goes in so I had to figure something out with that either I'm I'm mounting because my old I had a feeling that my old uh, slave cylinder had a issue. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to do that modification and uh, either I'll post some pictures or um, um, uh, uh, either I'll post some pictures or, or um, I'll make a video out of it. Uh, also, I would like you guys to tell me where should I be posting all the pictures I, uh, and w which forum would be the best to post it. Should I put it in a Honda Accord forum? or should I put it in the Accord 7th Gen forum? Uh, if you can please uh, add the links uh, down below so that I would uh, um, uh, set up a uh, new thread there. Um, secondly, yes, about the uh, drive shafts, the drive shafts fit exactly the same. They will easily fit, both will fit uh, just fine. You do not have to change your drive shafts. I will show you this is the half shaft that I have because my Accord has a half shaft 
So this is the half shaft that goes from this side of the transmission and this is my uh, five speed um, transmission. And if you can see, it was in like that. And this is a 2012 Honda Civic transmission. Oh, and before I forget, this is a 2012 Honda Civic SI, because only SIs come in 2.4. So it fits right perfectly. So I don't have to change, no modification in the, in the mounts. At least I can save some money on that. I also have ordered a module for the reverse lockout solenoid because this one has a reverse lockout solenoid. So, um, and, and, and as you can see, this since that's at a five speed, I don't need a reverse lockout. There is no reverse lockout solenoid. So for this, um, I, I'm looking online and they're pretty, they're quite a, some expensive uh, modules available, but I want to try something out. I found something on, on, uh, on this uh, website called AliExpress. So it's kind of like eBay. And they have this module that, that converts uh, pulse wave, pulse width, which works from the, uh, the, the uh, vehicle speed sensor. And um, the way it works is if it gets any pulse, then it will enable or disable uh, voltage. Uh, actually, it's got a relay, so I can actuate whatever I want to actuate. Uh, so hopefully that'll come soon, and then I'll, I'll, I'll try that out. And if it doesn't work, then I would have to resort to um, buying the, the expensive modules. I might also have to buy a Honda, um, uh, yeah, Honda yellow jacket for the uh, um, speed conversion because because the final output on both transmissions are different, so my speedometer might not be able to read this transmission's, uh, this vehicle speed sensor's output. Also, um, I will show you guys one more thing. Um, so I was I was pulling my hair trying to find where I can find a perfect uh, pigtail uh, connector for for the um, for the reverse lock us all night and I'm kind of a perfectionist so I like to I like to make something or get something that is proper not not um, not not just have two pins and put it in and and and, uh, and uh, silicone them. So I, I was looking online and there there was nobody had a had a good answer for that. A lot of people were asking about Honda's um, um, reverse lockout solenoid and talking about their connectors and we they can find them. Well, this connector it's actually uh, you can find it in any Honda. Um, all, well, I shouldn't say any Honda, but almost all Hondas have this connector. This is a, actually a, a EG, uh, EVAP vent solenoid connector which is which is uh, located in the engine compartment also uh, um, could be on the evap canister uh, something uh, one of the evap solenoids i'm not exactly 100 percent sure which one is it though but it's one of the evap solenoids i got this out of a 2002 honda accord the vent solenoid was located inside the engine and uh, engine compartment, and um, I just had a, I just had to go and cut it. So you, you, all, you guys don't need to order any spe special connectors or anything. All you guys do, got to do, is go and go to a um, junkyard and uh, find a Honda, and see this this connector right here, and uh, and cut it, and uh, that will fit exactly as your reverse lockout solenoid. There you go. Perfect. Um, um, I guess that's it. I'm not sure. Please tell me if I'm the first one to try this. Uh, it's kind of really crazy. I have everything out. It's uh, it's kind of a headache to take out the trans to take out the transmission from the from this Accord because um, there's no there's no exactly there's no uh, perfect place to put the engine. Um, Indian support and uh, I didn't have the the uh, four-legged one so uh, but but well I got it done yesterday so today I'm gonna put put it back together hopefully Monday or Tuesday I'll get my mount figured out also with the cables I have I have to figure something out so both of the mounts look different my OE mount looks like this um, where it goes yeah right here it goes right here and then the Honda Civic one goes kind of somewhere right here. So the reason why they're different is because this one has a different kind of a 
um, a hole and, and the, the clutch cables have a, a small bracket that holds the whole clutch cable inside. Whereas this one has just those two brackets, so um, the, the clips. So I have to jer figure something out. I'll hopefully by tomorrow, I'll, uh, I'll figure something out. I've been at it all night. I'm, I, I usually for my own cars, I take t take a lot of time because I want to do it perfect on one time. Uh, not that I don't I'm, I don't work on other people's car perfect, but you know when it's yours, you just tend to spend more time make, making sure everything is everything is nice and snugly um, yes about the two torque mounts um, th this one I'm not going to be able to use because I don't have holds for it I, I if I can rest the phone for a second sorry guys it'll go black so just give me one second please uh, it's got to rest the phone for a second sorry guys uh, I had to add this video <laughs> Uh, anyways, so I was trying to, fall to show you the side, but I guess I can't. Um, so if you can see, I only have those two holes over there. But on this one, there are two torque mounts. This one here, and one goes right here. And the set, and the, the, the uh, right now I'm gonna f I'm be facing a problem because this is a bigger a tread than this one right here but this mount fits perfectly on this one so for now I'm gonna to try to see if I can just put it in like that and probably Monday I'll ask my partner for for his help because he he knows how to make treads properly I don't want to make it and then screw it up so he'll probably help me out with a thread and uh, hopefully I'll be able to put that if not then I'll just put those bolts in and hope for the best uh, so I guess that's it. Um, wish me luck. Um, I don't know if it's a big headache that I have taken as a task or or um, or not, but uh, we'll see. I'll update it. I should have made a before and after video so that I could show you the difference between five five, uh, five speed and six speed but my car broke down because I think my clutch had something to do with it. Um, it was really hard and my, uh, my, uh, my primary cylinder kept on popping. So, uh, so, uh, so I guess that's it, that's it for now. Uh, again, wish me luck and um, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching, bye.